and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am really recording this video today to vent. I am really upset. Um, you guys know I've done glossy box uh, reviews. I will, I've been a subscriber almost a year now. It would be a year this March. And if you guys had seen my videos um, on glossy, the unboxings, you will know that um, wasn't too happy with them the first six months actually ended up getting renewed by accident and I told you guys that so um, well I didn't get my March box so I submitted a customer service um, request they say 24 hours um, sometimes when it's busy they'll respond in 48 hours I said okay I'll, I'll wait 24 to 48 hours I waited um, within 24 hours, they responded and said, um, sorry, Rasha, um, can you show us what's going on? Can you tell us what the last four digits of the credit card that you used for your last six months subscription? Mind you, I am a six month auto renewal subscription, so you owe me a month. I've already prepaid for the six months, October, and I should get my, you know, October, November, December, January, February, March. So I should get the March. So this guy was nice. He goes, okay, can you just tell me, verify the last four digits, just what card it was on? I said, sure. So I gave him the information and I said, you know, this is how much I paid and here's the four last, last four digits of the card and I still don't have my March month and it's April, so I don't have my March box. And he goes, okay. So he comes back and he says, well, thank you for giving me that information. We verified your account and um, your April box is being made. I'm like, okay, but I still don't have my March box. So I responded back. Now, mind you, each one of these responses is at least 24 hours to 36 hours. Um, so then I said, but I still don't have my March box. All this past conversation is with Nathan. Another guy responds two days ago and says, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't receive your box. Can you please tell us when you were charged for it? Give us information as if they can't go on their records and check it themselves. Like I'm really upset by this point because it's been a week, more than a week, and I still don't know what's going on. All I know is, okay, I'm getting my April box, but where's my March box? So I've never done this before. I'm usually a nice person and I gave it to them by by in that message. I really did. I was so upset. I was like, this is ridiculous. If you've already started communication with a customer on an issue, I should not have to wait every single time for a response for 24 to 48 hours. It's ridiculous. Once the, the path has started, once that communication has started, it should just go through. And it didn't. Um, that's number one. Number two, I can't keep verifying information what are you doing? You should have your stuff. You should have your information on the back end side. I don't have to keep verifying to you. It's not, the burden is not on me to prove that I paid you. You took my money. So you should be proving you paid, you took my money. So you're the one that should check it, not me. And I still don't have my marsh box. Like I'm really like ticked right now. I still don't have my marsh box. So I basically said, you know what? This is horrible. I'm not, I do not want to get auto renewed and I'm really seriously thinking I do not want this anymore. The only reason I would keep this subscription, to be honest, is for you guys to be able to unbox them and show you guys what that subscription has. But I'm at a point where I, I just can't deal with this silliness. Like when something happens with BoxyCharm, they immediately respond. You get what you want. When something happens with Lola, same thing. Within 24 hours, it's resolved. And here I am over a week later. I still know nothing about my March box. And I still know nothing about what's going on with the rest of my subscription because apparently they didn't order renew this time, even though it is supposed to order renew and they're supposed to take the money out. So I'm waiting to see what's going to go on with that. But I am really, really, really ticked. And, um, I just wanted you guys to know that Glossybox customer service, they are polite in their communication, but they're really useless in the sense that you have to wait over a week to even know what happened with your box. And even if you go on the website, I could see on my list, that box doesn't exist in my list. Like it shows you which box you got on your account. That one isn't showing. 
All they have to do is go in and check the account and they'll see the box never came to me. So for them to even ask me that question just ticked me off. So I just noticed while I was recording that a message came in and I, it is from Glossybox. So I am going to read that message to you because I don't know how much more frustrated I can get at these people right now. It says, hello, Rasha. Thank you for getting in touch with us. We are sorry for this inconvenience, but we do need a photo of that screenshot. We are very sorry for any inconvenience this may be. They're referring to a screenshot where I took on my account to show that the March box was missing. If there is anything else that we can do, um, then please do not hesitate to get in touch and a member of our team will be happy to help. And that's Nathan again, the first guy that I, we were ta I was talking to. This is ridiculous. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, I will send them the screenshot, but I will also let them know I will not be renewing with them. Um, sorry guys, I want to stay with Glossy to, to share with you, but, but I just can't deal with that kind of um, horrible customer service. You're nice and sweet in the way you speak, but um, you can't go on my account on your end to see that you never sent me a March box. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That, that tells me you don't know what you're doing. Um, yeah, I just, I can't do this. I wanted to also let you know that I've been, I have um, three companies that have approached me. So I'm doing three separate reviews on products that uh, are being sent to me and I'm going to try them out. One of them is a really cool um, Sonic um, makeup brush, foundation brush. And it's so, so cool. I can't wait to get that to test it out for you guys and share with you my, my opinion and my reviews. The other one is um, a magnetic lash. Um, which I haven't tried, so it's going to be exciting to try magnetic lashes and see how they go. And also a uh, peel-off pore mask. So that's going to be nice and exciting to try as well. And then the last that just happened like a couple of days ago, um, I will be reviewing a new subscription box to me. It's a uh, perfume subscription box. So stay tuned and I will let you know... Um, what's going on and I'll let you know about these reviews and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're already subscribed I thank you I appreciate you and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos and I will see you in my next video bye